Yesterday morning, I understand, on a program called Breakfast, where a group of non-journalistic weather readers and netball players get together and say woke things about New Zealand. Um, one of their presenters is a weather reader who, who someone meanly suggested was a diversity hire on um, uh, a guy called Maddie McLean, who's actually leaving now to go and uh, I think do something better suited to his intellectual level. He's going to be a jock, a breakfast jock on a show called The Hits, a radio show called The Hits. Um, but Matty now has, or oh, there's this segment on breakfast now where they're going to use Chris Bishop, leader of the House, uh, National MP Chris Bishop, and Kieran McNulty, the guy who is desperately trying to take uh, Chris Hipkins job, but lost his uh, wild rapper seat. Um, he's on in on the list to Mike Buttrick, a national now a national MP. Uh, so they have this thing, um, which for them passes for intellectual political debate, where they get two young people who they think are as hip as they can find in Parliament, and they talk about politics. Um, it was amazing, uh, and I didn't only went back and looked at this very recently, because um, generally I'm not very interested in what bre happens on breakfast. It's got very little relevance to the real world that I live in. Um, but I went back and looked, and it was classic. It was way. It was the way the Public Interest Journalism Fund was meant to work, and it's watching the bribe in action. Kieran McNulty gets on there and he sets up this claim, and he says, "Oh, it's terrible. Luxon hasn't com hasn't controlled Winston Peters." I'll tell you, Kieran. Chris Luxon doesn't appear to me to give a f what Winston Peters said. He's got his coalition deal. He's got a He's got a program of work to get on with. He's got 49 things to do in 100 days. He doesn't really give a stuff about Winston, um, but you clearly do. Um, so the great narrative now, though I don't think any of you really give a stuff either, is that Winston's lying when he says the media have taken a bribe and they're corrupt. Uh, and so Kieran sets up Matty. He basically in real time tells Matty what his opinion should be. And Matty agrees with him and then directly turns around to Chris Bishop and spouts the Labour Party uh, line. And just have a listen. The reality is he was expressing the views that a lot of people think, actually, which is that the Public Interest Journalism Fund um, didn't didn't work that well, actually. But it it's, not, it's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie, Chris. Mm. And that is the job of you as the government to clear up, because otherwise it just plays into that perception and f adds fuel to the fire. You cannot have the Deputy Prime Minister just echoing the ramblings of some conspiratorial lunatics on Twitter. It's the Coalition Government's 100-day plan is a goer. These four. Okay, so there we have Maddie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Maddie, I've got news for you. And because you haven't got any journalism experience, you're a glorified weather reader who loses their mind when your boyfriend gets shat on by a pigeon while you're on honeymoon uh, or your husband. Um, here's some news for you, Maddie. You need to read the contract that your bosses signed and other journalist uh, edit editors signed and company owners signed to get. Actually, what ended up to be more than $100 million of public interest journalism funding. And the money that is still paid out through New Zealand On Air and the strings attached to that through formal contracts. And those contracts say that the people who take that money, the news organisations who take that money, must cover Treaty of Waitangi issues in a certain way and run their businesses in accordance with the Treaty of Waitangi. All right, Maddie, you need to get the facts because it's not a lie. It is the truth. But the problem is, what is the first rule of Media Bribery Club? You don't talk about Media Bribery Club. So, Maddie, you need to get with the program. There's been an election. You and your lovely mates and your friend Karen, who give you your talking points, aren't running the show anymore. And most New Zealanders voted, a majority of New Zealanders voted against the bribery and corruption which has infected our mainstream news media for so long. Winston Peters isn't lying. Chris Luxon has, as good as this week said, he kind of gets what he's on about and there's the perception that you've been bribed. I appreciate that most of the frontline journalists like Agenda Lynch Mob, probably you, Matty, even Jack Tame admitted it, um, because they're so interested in being famous and getting their faces on television, and getting some clicks. They don't even know what their bosses have done and what they have signed away by way of integrity. But it is all there in black and white. The platform has been telling this story for two years. 
others have as well. I'd like to play tribute to Thomas Cramlin. Uh, I'd like to say Chris Lynch from uh, Independent Media Company down in Christchurch has done some great stuff on this. But the gig is up, guys. Matty, it's no good. Uh, Matty and, and Jenna, it's no good sitting there screaming they're lying. A a and really, you've probably lost the argument when all you can say is, oh, they're online conspiracy theorists. And Matty, what you do is you sound like you work for the Disinformation Project and any ideas or facts that you don't like, you label as disinformation. A and I know I call people cookers and crackpots and there are plenty of them. God, you should see Liz Gunn's mother of all revelations, which is the funniest piece of, of real-time humour I've ever come across. But what I'm saying is, Ma is Matty, uh, thank God you're leaving. Thank God you're no, no gone longer going to parade as a journalist. And if you want to sit there stomping your little feet on national television on a state broadcaster, for God's sake, do some research. And for God's sake, get your facts right. It is a bribe. It walks like a bribe. It talks like a bribe. It's got money attached. It makes journalists think, do things or commit to do things. Um, and that is bribery. There we go. There we go. End of story.